Hello guys and welcome back to the bench and today we are going to be testing Createx Wicked Colors. Uh, here's their two plated colors. This is gold chrome and this is quicksilver. It's already wearing off the label. Um, I thought they were both chromes and I realized this isn't called chrome. It's called quicksilver and I, I believe this is a base for their candy colors which I will be testing um, in a few weeks. I'm working on that now, but the gold chrome actually does say chrome, so um, I'm expecting this to have that chrome look, whereas this doesn't say chrome, I guess we're going to get like a, some kind of a shiny or a smooth looking silver, which is good for a, a base for a candy color, this isn't a candy color, but I think that's what it is, but anyway, I want to try them out, and um, for the test, let's reverse this, alright, there we go, for the test, I'm going to put the silver over a shiny black, and then I'm going to put it over uh, plain black. We're going to scuff that up with this pad in one second. That's my scuff pad. And for the gold, we're going to go with the same. And then a shiny. And we're going to put it over some white. I, I think um, I've tried silvers over white. You really can't see them. It doesn't do well for the camera. But I, know, I think I can get the gold to maybe show up on the white. So we'll give that a shot. And... Um, as a third one for the silver, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of drops of one of their opaque colors. We'll put in, this is called Detail Blue. So I'll put a couple of drops in that, see if we can get this silver, this Quicksilver to change its color. Maybe have a nice uh, bluish shade to it. We'll put that here next to the Gundam. And we're going to use my uh, Patriot 105, my Badger 105 Patriot airbrush for this. And uh, they recommend a large needle, high air pressure. Um this particular airbrush only requires about 15 psi but what I'll do is I'll turn it up to 20 for wicked colors they purposely do recommend a high air pressure and a large needle this is about a 0.55 um, it's a uh, it's pretty big but um, these colors are on the thin side of things and they're pre thinned in the bottle we're just gonna put them directly into the cup and uh, go from there now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna scuff up this these are my scuff pads. I get these at the auto supply store where I get a lot of my uh, 2K colors and my auto paints. Um, it's just a nice scuff pad. It's I don't know what the abrasion rate on this is, what grit, but it's good to scuff a surface to get it ready for primers and whatnot. And here it is. I'm going to show you. I just want to see how it looks over a dull surface as opposed to a shiny surface like that. There it is. See it? Let me wipe this off, off the camera here. There you go. Get the dust off it. That's it. These are uh, these are really worth having, particularly if you build uh, uh, model cars. You want to uh, out of the box. You want to scuff the body all up. You know, get it to grip, and then uh, you can go with your primer. And sometimes you can put the paint directly over it. Some of these Tamiya spray cans will go right over anything. Personally, so uh, if you prep the body right, you know, you should be fine. But I'll do it again on this one so you guys can see it. See, it, 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 I'm not putting a lot of pressure. You know, I want to get each corner. It's just so it grips the paint when I put it on. Particularly acrylics. I do like a, a rough surface for it to cling to. Or a prime surface. I, you know, I always recommend a primer with an acrylic. And these, of course, are acrylics. There it is. You get the dust off it. We'll get one more uh, blast of air to get make sure the dust is off it. But there it is. Nice and dull. It's got a little bit of a grip to it. You can use this a bunch of times. I think it's 99 cents, a big sheet, like 12 by 12. So uh, worth having in your uh, inventory, as we say. Now, you got to shake these up quite a bit. They come with a, a marble in there, or a shaker ball, if you can hear it. So you're going to have to shake these up quite a bit. The dropper bottle is pretty good. I made a little bit of a mess in early test, but um, so far, so good. It, it, it kind of holds up. But... Um, that's all. I'm going to shake these up quite a bit. I'm going to have to get this blue shaken up because at the very end I'm going to do a... I'm going to put some in, a couple drops in the silver and we'll see what kind of look we get on that. I might not do all these on camera, but I'll do at least one of each um, of these colors. But anyway, let's head it over to the booth and let's see how this stuff comes out. Now, let's not expecting a high chrome on this. I don't expect it. Um, I do expect it to be maybe more of an aluminum. I don't know. But I know it's not called Chrome on purpose, whereas this one is called Chrome, and they're both part of the same lineup. And um, it's one of the few in their lineup that even come in these smaller bottles, smallish bottles, and they're ready to be painted, which is rare with uh, creatives. But anyway, let's head over to the booth, and let's check these paints out. 
All right, guys, up first, Quicksilver. I just put it straight into the cup. You can see it in there. And I got my two spoons. The third one will be, I'm going to put some blue in this, as I said. And uh, we'll see what that looks like. But let's go. Now, they recommend high air pressure and further back than I'm used to doing. So let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, it's, it sprays nice. Doesn't look like chrome like uh, all clad does at this point, but it does spray pretty good. This is the spoon that all we did was roughed up a plain plastic spoon. Now, early testing, it looks, um, it doesn't look like when it's dry what it looks like now. It completely looks different than this when it's dry and the first test spoon that I posted. So just so you guys know about that, what you see here is uh, not what we're going to get, but I, you can tell already it's not really a chrome, it's a really shiny smooth silver, but no metal flake in it. You don't have that metal flake, that fake, you know, or I should say like an auto silver. It goes over the plastic really good though, look at this. This is about done. That's perfect. It went on really nice. I'll put this in the dehydrator for about 20 minutes. Let's finish the black one here. Like I said, it doesn't look like this when it's dry, just so you guys know, and I'll show you under the lights how it looks. All right, let me pause this right now. I'm going to put some blue. I'll drop a blue in here and let's see what we get. All right, guys, I am back with the Quicksilver and one drop of this detail blue. And this is what we got. Can you see it? Real pretty blue. Let's see. Get in the light. Nah, it's tough to get it in the light. But I'm going to go over gloss black with this and let's see what we get. This is us experiment done live. I've never done this before with this paint. Oh yeah, I can see the blue tint already. I'm going, oh, really nice. Now we can flash this off. This is an acrylic, so just push it down. Don't pull it back. Let's dry it off a little bit. I'm not sure how it's going to look over white. Maybe I should try it over white. Let's try that. I got spoons here that are pre-done. I keep all my spoons uh, primered up. And I keep them separated. Here's my white primered spoons, gray primered spoons. Here's my gloss black. I do a lot of these because we do a lot of metal testing. These are actually sprayed with uh, Tamiya gloss black spray can. Well, let's see what we get here. Oh, you can really see the the blue tint now over the white. pretty color. Let's try it over the black though. This is the look we're trying to get. Yeah, I like this. This is more just a light blue over the white. You get more of the chrome look over the black. Now, I, I know it dries completely different, you know, when there's nothing in it. So I have no idea how this is going to dry when it comes out. Hopefully it looks good. Fingers crossed. All right, let's get this final coat over. That's it. Let's take this to the old dehydrator and let's see what we get on a result. Let me clean out the brush, and we'll move on to the gold. I clean out the brush with their airbrush cleaner, because I happen to have a big bottle. I had this for about six months, so I figured, hey, let me use it. And I use hot water. 
like I do with all my acrylics. All right, guys, let me pause this and come back with the gold. All right, guys, I am back. Up next will be the gold chrome. Glossy. The matte uh, plastic spoon bear and a white spoon. Let's see what we get. I think the results are going to be quite different on all these because this is labeled as a chrome. Now it looks good now, but it's got a really heavy metal flake look to it, which I don't like in my chrome. But this is what the silver looks like, and it dries completely different. So let's hope it dries good. All right, let's go on with the uh, black spoon without, without the gloss, just bare plastic. Very nice. Good looking chrome. It's a little different than I'm used to. I don't know if it, this is going to show up on white, but let's give it a shot. Most, oh no, it's showing up. A lot of these metal colors really need a, uh, a dark base. But if we can get different results, oh, oh yeah, it's looking good. I actually like it. It's looking pretty good. This, uh, Right off camera here, let me grab some. This uh, Turbo Dark Metallics, it just sent me a whole bunch of these uh, metallics. They're not color shift. And a lot of them go over white or black, so we're going to be testing those very soon. I'm going to try and test every color. It'll be a daunting task because they sent me a bunch of them. All right, let's let that sit. Let's go back to the first one. Yeah, this has a very heavy, very heavy uh, flake factor to it, I guess we'll call it. But it does dry, I think it does dry differently. So I'm hoping it, it sprays nice. This is out of the bottle. It's, it doesn't run. It sprays really good. Let's load up the white a little more. And we'll call that it. Beautiful. It goes on white really nice. I'm impressed. And let's go back to the first one. Let's wrap this one up. There we go. All right. I think we're looking good. We're all set for it to dry up. This one actually looks good. I don't think it needs any more. Nah, we're good. All right, guys, it's looking good. I hope it comes to more of a chrome look, but once it dries, I think we'll get the definite look. All right, guys, I'm going to head over, put these in the dehydrator, and I'll see you about 20 minutes, but in your time, in about two seconds. All right, guys, here we go. We got the results, and um, uh, not too bad. Let's look at the gold first. This is your standard gold over black. Now... It's not quite gold plating like I like, but it's not bad. It's, it's close to it's close to perfect. It's almost there. And this is good with clears over it. I know it looks really good with a clear over it. This is over the black. And this is over the black spoon that I just scuffed up um, with the scuffing pad. And it looks good both ways. It's a little shinier here on the on the gloss black base but uh, I seem to like this look of it better it's hard to explain it's a little bit of a dull gold it's almost like a the gold I do with all my other golds it seems to come out this semi gloss look but it, it seems to have a really nice look to it a deep look to it Let's check its durability which I think is really durable this this whole lineup of Createx paints are just they super durable yeah no durability problems with any of these, trust me. If you put them on the right way, um, this stuff is like auto grade. Um, but this is it over white. Definitely lighter. Look at that. As I say, I'm favoring the side because that's where I'm sitting. The camera is over here. Look at that. Let's put it in the middle of the two. 
You can really see it. That's over white. And then I glossed it to see what I got, and I kind of it kind of ruined it. it. It made it look more like a gold show car or something. It 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 really uh, I didn't like it glossed. They recommend you can gloss it, but I just didn't like the results. You know, this is 2K. I put 2K over it, so this is really strong, but don't like the results. I liked it the way it was, and it's durable anyway. All right here's the silver over black. Now. It's not chrome, but like I said, it isn't chrome. It's called quick silver, which it, if it was chrome, it would say chrome. So I'm not expecting a chrome. This is basically, I believe, you can use this as a base for uh, candies. Even though they have a, a silver sealer for their candies, this can also be used for that too. But it has a nice look to it. Again, it has a smooth, no uh, flake look to it at all. This is it over the scuffed up uh, spoon with the pad. And uh, this one you can actually see it's really dull but you can see all the sand marks so this is pretty fine pigment so this will require a smooth surface so if you went this route of just sanding it I still think you'd have to clear coat it you know be it anything you could probably spray can clear coat it because it's an acrylic it'll probably go over most anything it won't eat up anything but it does have a nice dull you know like a matte steel look to it see it now again, I experimented putting a clear over it. I didn't like the results, but it looks like a car. If you want to paint a car this color, um, that's this is again 2K. I did them both at the same time off camera. It's really really tough. Now here's the surprise. Here's I think I like it best with the dye in it. Now what um, when I dyed it with the blue, what was this? Detail Carillion Corel Blue. Uh, I have a lot of wicked colors, so I just picked the blue off the shelf blue red whatever shows up good on camera um, this is it over black so I took this spoon black spoon and hold on this is before I put one drop in the cup of the airbrush and this is after and that was over the black you know but it is it is a really it's a thick pigment paint you can tell it because it covers the black really easily but look at that result. It's already almost candy colored without even doing candy coloring. It's one shot. This is over white. Look how nice it is over the white. So let's go right here. I'm only showing the black so you guys know what the base was. And there you go. This, uh, I can see through the camera, it's a little darker. It's a bit lighter. You know, it's more to this tone of, than it is this darker blue. I don't know why it shows up like that on camera, but it's these LED lights. You never know what you're going to get. I can move them around, but but that's my favorite result of all these. I, I like I like this. You just take one bottle of this and pick any drop. One drop I put in and did this. And I back washed in the cup and I back flushed it and this sprayed out. How great is that? That is nice. It's a one step less candy instead of putting silver then a clear over it you just take this dye it whatever color you want and just spray over the black or white because that's over the white spoon look at that anyway that's my favorite but uh, these are the two basics these are over black that's the gold chrome and this is the quick silver not bad not high chrome however you're gonna get durable with this you it, this is this is durable stuff the wicked colors lineup in the Creatix uh, lineup. Um, they did away with the auto colors and they blended them into uh, the Wicked lineup. So you're gonna see uh, the auto lineup is gone but it's the same paints just blended in. And it's got a high urethane count in it and a poly count, whatever you want, whatever it's called. Uh, it's poly based so it's really, really durable. But that's the two basics right there. That's your two basics. And then uh, the only modification was the blue inside the silver and uh, that's it I sprayed it through the Patriot airbrush it sprayed perfectly it cleaned out great so uh, I like them I do like them they're not the greatest as far as a metal looking color uh, um, but as a base to start off with pre pretty much if you want to do the frame of a, of a Gundam if you want to do the inner frame parts um, not the one to show he's tiny but uh, this at least you know it's going to be durable you know and you're going to have a you know you're going to have a metal look to it so I think it's good for that, and of course it's good for uh, 
customizing and canning over it. But um, that's it. That's the test. And I got a few things coming up, guys. Um, I got this metal medium I want to test. It's a, it's kind of a clear metallic, and you can either add colors to it like I did that and change it, or you could just spray it over uh, clear, solid colors and get a metallic sheen to it. I've been wanting to try that. And I got this glaze medium, um, but I can use almost any clear as a medium. And, but I'm going to test some of these powders out. We're going to mix in powders uh, into a medium or into a clear and see what kind of results we get. That's a gold right there. Here's a rustic gold. These come highly recommended. So I'm going to try that. These are fairly cheap. I'm hoping to achieve this kind of shine through a, a medium, either this or even any kind of clear. But uh, those are coming up. And I'm going to test out some... Uh, hardware store clears I got matte finish I already started an early test and like the result so I'm gonna try this matte finish versus a, cry, uh, a rust -Oleum comparison I heard the rust -Oleum uses the testers inside seeing that they own testers anyway it's the same formula but um, with this one I wanted to try the this came highly recommended this particular Krylon and the early test was really good so uh, at $4.99 wherever this was you're getting a lot there for your money. That's why I wanted to test it. I'm looking for a good value for you guys on something like that. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching the video. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. I have a lot more tests coming, as you can see. And please like the video. That helps a lot, too. And um, we'll see you later in the week uh, with the next video test. And we will catch you soon. Have a good day, guys. God bless.